What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up and then be notified for future readings. This is um, free general card reading for September of 2022 for Sign of Leo. This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, no name, no Jupiter chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Free will. Only take the messages resonate. Leave rest. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Oh. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. For real, for real, for real. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> sorry. I have another channel called Hashtag Leo Gang. If anybody's interested in it, it's a Leo aspect aspect channel um, for any aspects of Leo in your chart. Um, if anybody wants to check it out, it's hashtag all caps L E O G A N G with exclamation point. If anybody's interested, um, it's got about I've been manifesting it for about a month, and it's got about three hundred and thirty something subscribers on it. Um, so if anybody wants to check it out. All right, so I did receive one channel message for your um, sign, Leo, for September 2022 when I was, as I was meditating on your energy. I heard an uh, advice from one of your favorite readers is about to become very invaluable to you. I heard you're about to take the advice. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Leo, if that resonates for you, sir or ma'am. You can be a man or a woman. Um, advice. From one of your favorite readers. So I'm feeling it's an online platform reader. But for some it could be a home reader. You Only only you know who you're visiting. Whether it's in the online platform world. Or the reader world. I'm at the home reader world. But if you're watching my channel. Or you come across it. You're probably into online readings. Just for real for real. There's a reason I got the channeling. So I feel you either watch my channel. Or you're about to watch my channel. How that resonates Leo. But um. It's from one of your favorite readers. So I feel for a lot of you guys, it's online platform, but for some, it could be other platforms, um, home, home based or what have you. But have that resonate. Um, they're about to give you some kind of advice, whether you're paying for it through a personal reading or you're getting it free through Google AdSense, ad, um, Google AdSense free videos on YouTube or any other platform. Um, but however that resonates, I heard you're about to take the advice. And um, it's going to be very invaluable to you. So you plug it in how it resonates, Leo. Okay. For some, you could be dealing with earth signs. <clears throat> we have heavy earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. If you are, they have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, Hamer, Jupiter charts. If you are, um, Leo. Experiments that you have sign of Leo. Heavy air signs working against you. Heavy, heavy, heavy. I just heard get another one. Heavy air signs working against you. Heavy is what I heard. Heavy air sign energy working against you. However, for one, you're about to press the hell out of a very high vibrational air sign. Okay, so heavy air sign energy working against you. But for one of you guys, you're going to impress the hell out of one high vibrational air sign. So heavy air sign energy working against you um is low vibrational energy they don't treat people with honesty trust respect morals ethics integrity or values for the ones working against you secretly behind the scenes i'm feeling but for one of you guys it sounds like soon you're going to impress the hell out of a high vibrational air sign so a high vibrational gemini libra aquarius soon it sounds like it hasn't happened yet they could have gemini libra aquarius and their sun moon rising venus north moon, and hammer jupiter charts if that resonates and applies for you leo um, number nine or 52 could be very significant numbers in one's life, nine or 52. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life, nine or, nine or 52.
A Libra, low vibrational Libra feminine is about to experience so much chaos in her personal life. It is about to benefit you in a huge way. And a Gemini masculine. And a Pisces feminine. Low vibrational energies. Okay, a low vibrational Pisces fem, Libra feminine, and <clears throat> Gemini masculine is about to experience so much heavy chaos in their personal lives, I heard, that it's about to benefit you in a huge way, Leo. And a low vibrational Leo. Leo feminine. And a low vibrational Leo femme. So a low vibrational Leo femme, a low vibrational Pisces femme, a low vibrational Libra femme, and a low vibrational Gemini masculine is about to experience so much heavy chaos in their personal life soon. It's about to benefit you in a positive way, Leo. So these are low, low vibrational people. They don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrities, or values. But it's about to, it sounds like behind the scenes benefit you. Um, I don't feel you communicate with these people, or at least I hope you don't. Um, but they are about to start to experience huge chaos in their own personal lives. So that's why I don't think you communicate with them. I think it's somebody of your past. For some, I feel it could be a strange family members or something of that nature, or some kind of toxic people of your past. But you plug it in how it resonates, um, Leo. Mouse. A Leo has really stepped into their own, some in their community, some about to be in a workspace situation, about to be around a lot of inexperienced people. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. Okay, Leo. So um, for some of you guys, um, it sounds like you have, for one, it's in your community. So um, it sounds like you used to be low on the totem pole in your community, but now you're high on the totem pole in your community. Um, and now um, I feel this might be the energy of your community, um, mouse energy. They look up to you. Uh, maybe they scurry from you. Um, they run from you. Maybe you're different. I feel for some you're different. Um, or you have leveled up in such a huge way that they, um, they scurry away like mice. Because um, I heard you've leveled up in a huge way in your community. So I think you've gained spiritual backing, uh, spiritual rank. Uh, for some, for some, it could be uh, influential rank, um, like in your actual society and community. For some, it could be both. But I feel this is the energy of your community scurrying from you or respecting you. Like they are the mice and you are a cat. I mean, not like in a predatory kind of way, but like you've leveled up. You've leveled up. So this is the energy for some of your community. And for some, I heard you're about to enter a workspace situation soon, and there are about to be a lot of inexperienced people in this company or site or what have you, what have you, and it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So I feel this is the energy of your upcoming coworkers in your 3D workspace situation. For some, you could have already gotten the job. For some, you're about to get the job, possibly. For some, you could be fairly new with the job. Um, however, that resonates, but... I feel they are the mice energy there. Um, they're inexperienced. They're like little mice and you'll have to teach them or want to teach them or show them the ropes. I mean, you just got hired. For some, I feel you're already hired in. For some, you're about to get hired in. For some, you're already hired in. For some, you're about to get hired in. Okay. For some, you're already hired in. For some, you're about to get hired in. So... But you have lots of experience, skills, uh, talents, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, in whatever you do and whatever job career field this is, that basically you're about to be around such unexperienced people in this career field, they're about to be like mice. Um, and I think you're about to be like the big daddy mice <laughs> or the big mama mice, like teaching them um, is what I'm feeling. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Lamb.
For one, a child is about to come back to you in a huge way. About to see some serious truths. And one, their step parent, one, their real parent, biological parent. They're about to come be very honest with you, and you're going to create many series of chain of events. Positively for them. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so tr false mask, um, true color energy is about to come out. Um, for some of you guys, um, I heard uh, your child. So it could be your foster child. Oh, I don't feel it's your foster child. I feel it's your biological child. But I don't feel you have, um, like, full custody of them right now. I think it's... Um, Visitation rights or 50-50 um, is what I feel. Um, but I feel this is your child in this aspect. For some, it can be a, um, it could be a uh, earth sign child because we have the lamb energy. Or it could be any other sign of a child taking on the lamb energy. Docile. And when they come back, I think they're going to be docile and apologetic. And um, um, they're not going to be mean and aggressive and what have you, what have you, is what I'm saying. Um, I think they're going to come back in a very docile way um, is what I'm feeling. For some, they're about to see real truth in one of their real parents. Um, for one, it's in one of their step parents. For one, it could be both. But they're about to come back to you in the lamb energy, very docile. And I feel apologetic and very truthful, I heard, um, and tell you about this. And I heard once you hear about it from this child, whether it's an earth sign child or any other sign child, I heard you're going to create action series of chain of events to help the child. Um, so whoever you are, you're very light side and you don't believe in abuse and exploitation and um, and uh, negative energy. And I heard you're going to help the child. So, um, and you should, you should help the child. Whoever you are, if that message applies for you, you're high vibrational. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values, if that resonates for you. Trust. For one, someone in your past is going to want to come back and want you to trust them. You are not going to trust them. And it's going to be the best thing to ever happen to you. They betrayed you in a huge ass way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So for one of you guys, somebody in your past is going to try to come back soon. Um, I heard they want, they're going to want you to trust them. But I heard you're not. Um, because of the past. And I heard um, that's actually the smart thing to do. Um, that's actually the smart thing to do, not to trust them. And I heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way. So um, for some, it is a sister. For some, it is a cousin. For some, it is an ex. For some, it is a sister. For some, it is a cousin. For some, it is an ex. For some, it is an ex coworker. For some, it is a sister. For some, it is a cousin. For some, it is an ex. For some, it is an ex coworker. You plug it in how it resonates. So they want you to trust them now, but I heard um, you know not to trust them. You know not to. So they have 10 of swords to you or 50 swords to you in the past, and you know it. Um, and I heard you're not going to trust them, and it's actually going to be benefit you in a huge way. And absolutely, man, um, if you know they've 10 of swords to you or 50 swords to you in the past, they're going to do it again, and that's just the truth usually once a snake, always a snake. Now, sometimes people do change, but it's people that actually want to change. And that's just the truth. Few and far between people actually want to change their life. And that's just the truth. Beauty. Someone's about to have a major positive glow up. A Leo. It is about to piss people your past off in a huge way. Okay, I heard one of you guys is about to have a major positive glow up. It's about to piss people your past off in a huge way. So beauty card. Uh, I think you might be naturally beautiful for some. Like aesthetically pleasing and aesthetically beautiful. Um, like physically on the outside. But um, at least one, you're going to have a... A positive glow up so i think uh, aesthetic glow up i think you're about to change something aesthetically about your 
uh, skin or your fe features or your hair or your body. Maybe for some you're going to get surgery or something. I didn't hear that, but possibly. Um, but something aesthetic physically on your body. And I uh, heard it's going to piss people your past off. So they don't want you to um, be beautiful. Um, whoever these people are, I think it's these low vibrational people that are about to experience chaos in their own life. They don't want you to um, to be more beautiful than them is what I'm feeling. They It's like they secretly compete with you. Um, and... Um, they don't, they don't want positive things for you. They don't want you to be beautiful. They don't want people to be attracted to you um, because God forbid you outshine them. And that's just the truth. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. So them, um, them being jealous of your beauty, I feel for some, they're already jealous of your beauty or they were jealous of your beauty. Uh, for some, um, yeah, for some, I think you're going to get something done. You might get dental work done. You might get um, brow work done. You might get hair, uh, a new hairstyle, new hair color, new hairstyle. You might get plastic surgery. You might get um, dermabrasion. You might get, um, I mean, whatever it is you're going to get. I didn't hear any of that as just examples, but it's something aesthetically. And it's going to piss them off. I heard it's going to backfire on them. So you plug it in how it resonates. Ask for, oh, let me see if I hear anything else. <clears throat> for one, your confidence is about to rise in a huge way. Through many series of chain of events. You're beautiful on the inside and the outside. And someone's about to really appreciate this in a huge way. Wow. So that's beautiful. So this is beauty internally and externally. If um, that the aspect of internal and external beauty here. Um, for one, your confidence is about to rise in a huge way. If that resonates for you. Because you're beautiful internally and externally. And I heard someone is about to really appreciate this about you. So it's someone um, I think you haven't met yet is what I'm feeling. Someone you have not met yet. Someone you have not met yet. Okay, it's confirmation. Someone you have not met yet. So someone you haven't met yet is about to really appreciate your internal and external beauty. Um, so you're not only, you're not like a false ass person. You don't look beautiful on the outside and really behind the scenes hack people and stalk people and lurk people and um get get boob job done on they on um, frauded money or um stolen money or something or give and give inherit stolen inheritances away to somebody else you know you're actually a good genuine person but you are on the inside and the outside and somebody new to you is about to really appreciate this and for one and someone that you've already met high vibrational being earth sign energy they're about to pay it forward to you in a very positive way. Okay, so for one, it's someone you haven't met. And for one, it is someone you have met. For one, it could be both. You plug it in, how it resonates. But some kind of high vibrational earth sign energy, if that message applies for you, you already have met that person. So they could be the mouse or the lamb energy. For some, I feel it could be somebody in your community or someone you already work with newly in a workspace or is about to work with newly in a workspace. Um, they can have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But um, I heard they're about this one you've already met. So you already have met this person in energetic space in your 3D world, the Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Masculine, masculine, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, masculine. And um, he's about to pay it forward to you in a very positive way. So he's high vibrational. He treats, treats people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. He's about to pay it forward to you in a very positive way. He appreciates your internal beauty and your external beauty. So you're high vibrational, but you are a nice, li nicely looking on the looking on the outside too. But you're a good person on the inside too. He knows this and he appreciates this about you. This high vibrational earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, high vibrational energy, and he's about to pay it forward to you. So um, 
that's beautiful, whoever that's for. And for one, it is someone you haven't met yet. Um, how that resonates, okay? And I feel that could be any size. So you plug it in how it resonates. Axe, forces working against you. Heavy lurker energy on your social media business. You're about to shut this shit down. Very intuitive. And another person is very intuitive and they have been giving you signs and readings and you know this. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. For one, you're a reader. One, you're not. Online business. Okay, so for one, you're a reader and you have an online business and they're heavily lurking your online business. For one, you're, you have an online business, but it's not a reading business, if that resonates for you. But they're heavily lurking your business, whatever it is, um, and how that applies. So for one, you're an online reader, online public platform reader, and they're heavily people in your past. I think it's these low vibrational creeps you were pulling in at the beginning, these stalker, lurkery, obsessive folks. Um, they basically have been stalking your online business for a one. Uh, one, it's a reading business. One, it's not. Um, but it's people, your heavy people, your past, low governmental people, your past, forces working against you. But I heard you're about to shut that shit down. So I think you're about to create changes on your business to where they can't access you as easily as they probably could have in the past. Uh, maybe for some, you were talking too much about your personal life, possibly, or sharing too much about your personal life, and you're about to shut the personal information down, possibly. That's the suggestions or the or the scenarios I feel it could go, possibly. Uh, for some, it could be any other way. You're about to make changes on your online reading business or an online business that's not a reading business. How that resonates and applies. Um, but for one... It's, uh, for one, you've been getting, um, messages, uh, not like personal messages, but I feel like intuitive guidance messages from another reader that's been helping you identify that. Um, and I heard it's going to help you greatly. So, um, so yes, you do have forces working against you. You do. You have low vibrational karmic energy in here all day long, Leo, but you do have high vibrational mix in here too. Um. So you plug it in how it resonates. So forces working against you is the karmic energy in here, but you do have high, high vibrational people that respect you and appreciate you and are trying to help you as well. So you just have to identify the real from the fake and the good from the evil and separate those people from your life, um, which I think we all, we all have to do that. Um, because there's a lot of fake people in the world. And I don't care if they are blood related or not. Trust me. If anybody knows that, that's me. I've had to cut off all my all my family. Every single bit of them, except for my kids, because of that reason. And that's just the truth. So if anybody knows that, it's definitely me. Okay. Okay. Legs stepping into a new experience. Let me see if I hear anything else with this one. Someone that has your stolen inheritance through many, they do not want to give it up. But through many shocking series of chain events, they're about to be forced to give it up. Someone that has your stolen inheritance, they do not want to give it up, I heard. But through many shocking series of chain events, they're about to be forced to give it up. So for one, and I've been pulling that in very strong the past week or so. One of you guys is in Leo's reading and the general um, high priestess intuition reading just the general collectives. Somebody has somebody's stolen inheritance. I don't care if it's Leo or anybody else. Of course, we're in Leo's reading, but it, there's a people out there right now in the current energetic space that have people's stolen inheritances. I don't care if you're a Leo or not. And it's just it's just the truth. It's the damn truth. But I heard um, for one of you guys, and I feel you have Leo aspect in your chart because we're in Leo's reading. Um, through many series of chain of events, they're about to have, a, have to give it up. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Water sign energy. Water sign energy. So water sign that has your soul and inheritance, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? And for one, a Pisces is about to be so, so, so pissed. Their mini series of chain events. They're about to find out they're not going to get a house. They're... 
they're about to get another house and they're not going to want that house. <clears throat> okay, and through many series of chain of events, a Pisces spam is about to find out they're not going to get a house. Um, I heard um, they're going to get another house and I heard they're not going to want that house. And they're going to experience huge problems in this house. This Pisces fam is going to try to contact a Gemini masculine for help, and she is not going to get the responses she wants. And it's going to piss the piss her off. Okay, so whoever this Pisces fam is, I think it's one of these people over here. You have to plug this Pisces fam in, how she resonates in your life. But there was Pisces fam, low vibrational Pisces fam energy in here earlier. Um, I think she for some of you guys, she's over here in the beginning messages, but through many series, okay, so she wanted a house. She wanted a house, specific house. But through many series of chain events, she's about to find out she's not going to get that house. She's going to get another house. Now, whether she is given this house, she rents this house, or she purchases this house, I'm not sure. I didn't hear that part. But she wanted a house, particular house. She's not going to get that house. She's going to get another one, whether it's going to be given to her, um, or she rents it, or she buys it. How that resonate? But how that resonate? She's going to get another house. And I heard, um, but she's going to have many problems in this house. It sounds like maintenance issues or it, sound, it sounds like some kind of, something's going to happen in the house. Um, I don't know if it's going to be plumbing or uh, water leak or, I don't know. I didn't hear specifically what it was, but she's going to reach out to a Gemini masculine for help, I heard. But I heard she's not going to get the response she wants. She's not going to get any response in a lot of these cases. She's not going to get any response in a lot of these cases. A lot of these cases, my God, she must she must have this person on speed dial. I was about to have this person on speed dial. He could have Gemini and his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter charts. Um, is she sounds like she's going to reach out to a Gemini masculine for help. Uh, I think with some kind of maintenance issue or for some reason, I feel plumbing. I didn't hear plumbing. I just kind of feel plumbing. Maybe it's kind of water issue. I didn't hear that. I just kind of intuitively feel it. But however that resonates, it's something negative that's going to happen in this home that she's going to get that she didn't want to begin with. I feel she's not going to rent this home because if she rented it, she could call her landlord. For some, Well, some of these situations, the Gemini masculine could be her landlord. He could be her landlord. But if he's her landlord, he should ha answer the phone. So I don't feel in a lot of these cases it is her landlord. I think it's a lover or an ex-lover or a father or a brother or something like that. I don't feel it's a landlord energy because landlord energy would have to answer your phone phone call. I've had landlords before. He, he mine was all, mine was wonderful though. I never had problems out of him. But a landlord is supposed to answer the calls for maintenance. So I don't think this is a landlord is what I'm trying to say. I think this is like a lover or an ex-lover or a brother or a father or a neighbor or uncle or something. And I think they're not renting it. I think they're going to buy the house is what I think. Or it's going to be given to them how that resonates. But I heard the Gemini masculine um, is not going to answer most of the time. And it's going to piss this um, Pisces fam off. So I don't know why that's coming in so um, strong in your reading, Leo. Um, but it is. So you plug it in how it resonates. Leg stepping into a new experience. Let's see. Someone is about to really blossom. As much as people don't want you to have this, you're about to have it. Someone is about to really blossom. As much as people don't want you to have it, you're about to really have it. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. So. You're about to really blossom in something. It could be business. It could be um, but, uh, business or um, workspace or both. Um, or it could be businesses. How that resonates. But someone doesn't want you to have prosperity, Leo. Whether it's business, businesses, or workspace. But I heard you're about to really blossom. So blossom either in a business, a businesses, or workspace. Or a combination. How that resonates and applies. And I think that's going to be beautiful. Um, the blossoming energy, if that resonates for you, okay? This Pisces feminine is about to experience such chaos in her home. Such chaos. She's going to regret ever getting this home. 
Oh my God, why did I keep pulling this chicken in? Holy crap. This Pisces family is about to experience such huge chaos in her home, such huge chaos. Her, she's going to ever regret getting this home. So whoever she is, it doesn't sound like a Gemini masculine is going to be much help. And I don't think it's her landlord. I think it's somebody else because landlords are supposed to answer the phone. And that's just the truth. I've had a landlord before and he was fantastic. Of course, I know not all landlords are like that, but my landlord was fantastic. I never had any issues out of him. Of course, I always paid him rent on time in a timely fashion every month. So I'm sure that helped. But anytime I ever had any issues, he was there which I rarely had issues. But when I did, he was there. I don't think this is a landlord. I just think it's somebody in her personal life that's not very supportive or helpful is exactly what I think. Um, I don't know why I'm pulling this chick in so strong, but she is coming strong in your reading, Leo. But I hope she's going to ever regret getting this home. So however that resonates. Because of the schools too, it's about to become a nightmare. Because of the schools too, it's about to become a nightmare. Good Lord, I'm pulling her in. So she's about to have home issues and she's about to have school issues. So I think she has one child or two or two plus children. You plug it in how it resonates, Leo. I'm getting out of this. Holy crap. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else will like my channel or enjoy the videos, please feel free to share them on social media and word of mouth. I love you guys so much. Namaste.